Oh shit, here we go again. Now Dante ain't the finest thing that's walking around. So when a bombshell drop dead gorgeous woman walk up to me at the bar and she try to talk to me, well, I gotta be real suspicious. Oh my goodness, I seen you across the room and I just could not resist to come over here and ask you, what is your name? So I'm looking at this woman and I'm like, man, what the heck she want with me? I mean, it ain't like every day. Matter of fact, no woman ever come up to me and say, you know, that she interested in me. So I'm like, you know, maybe she had a little bit too much liquor, but she didn't look drunk or nothing. So I'm like, um, what's your name? And she was like, my name is Courtney and yours. I'm like, man, my name Dante, but you know, people call me Buddy Love. I'm like, what you what you interested in me for? You just so fine. I just, I don't know what it is about you. So I'm thinking like, man, there's no way, man. This this woman, she, she okay, whatever. I mean, she says she like me, she interested. So I'm like, you got a man or anything? Because if you got a man, or a husband, I don't want nobody to come up behind me and bust me upside the head because I'm talking to you. So you got a boyfriend or something? No, I don't. Do you got a wife? If I had a wife, I would not be talking to you right now. That okay? don't really mean nothing. Dudes that's got wives be choosing to. Well, listen, I ain't got no wife, but um, sure, I'm single like a mug. That's why I'm here. But what you got going on tonight? Like what you doing after... You leave here. Baby, I'm doing whatever you doing. What you on? <laughs> well, and y'all heard what I said. It is very abnormal for a woman to come to Dante and try to holler at me. Like I said, I ain't the finest thing walking around. There ain't no woman out here checking for me like that. So I'm like, well, all right, forget it there. Well, you want to go to the hotel? Now, I ain't got that much money. I got like $98 we can get a hotel at the Red Roof Inn. It costs about $70. So you want to go to the hotel? Like I said before, baby, I'm on whatever you want. Did you drive here or? I did, but I would like to ride with you. Get to know you a little bit. You know what, y'all? I should have, I should have red flags should have started blaring at me right when she said that. But y'all know I was thinking with that down there instead of thinking with this. So I said, all right, man, forget it, man. We out. So we out. We get in the car and I said, okay, hold on. I need to go over to the gas station now. I'm going to tell y'all something. Dante had to get him a shot of Hennessy. Dante had to get him some of them honey packs. I had to get right, y'all, because this woman was drop dead bombshell gorgeous and i didn't want to fumble the bar you know i didn't want to get up in it and then end up you know you know coming all short with it and you know i have to knock this out the park so i go up in there and i go to the stir cloak and i'm like hey let me get you know let me get a magnum let me get a let me get the honey pack and let me get a shot of that hennessy right there y'all know the hennessy bottles was like four dollars y'all know the little the little joints like that so I'm in the store and I hit up and take one. I said, let me get another one. Gave me another one. I hit it again. I said, okay, and I got the honey pack. I'm drunk and so I said, you know what? Nah, I need more. I need more because I'm not about to mess this up at all. So then I go over there to the cooler and I go get me a small red bull because y'all, I'm telling y'all when this, when I say this woman went drunk, gorgeous she was light skinned and she had these red glasses on she had like a coca-cola like her hair was like went down the hair i mean the body was like god damn like that so i'm like yo i'm not about to play no games no military mind games it's about to happen i'm about to get in that and that's what it's about to be so you know i have you up and drink the red bull so i'm right y'all it's about to go down so we get to the hotel you know, I think the number was 305 or 306 on the second tier. So we in there, we sit on the bed, you know, we all hugged up, you know, she kissed me on the neck. I'm kissing her on her cheeks and stuff, you know. So, you know, being all nasty and freaky, right? So then we sit on the bed and I'm like, so uh, you got any kids or anything? No, I ain't got no kids, you. I said, no, I got two kids, but, you know, I just want to know, like, so is it that you don't want kids or nothing? Because I forgot, you know, I got one condom, but, you know. It's just that I haven't met a person I want to have kids with, but I'm very interested in you. Oh, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I usually don't do this, 
But like I said, how she was looking, I would give her four, five kids, right? You know, y'all, so she got the nibbling on my ear that she got close to my ear and... Baby, I need to go in the bathroom and freshen up for a little bit. Let me get right for you. So she got up and went to the bathroom. So now I'm like, man, oh, I cannot wait. Now I'm telling y'all that the honey pack and the lick and the red board are kicked in full force. So I'm ready to get it on. Hey, um, we at the Red Roof Inn. We in room 305. We on the second floor. Hey, I got them where I want them. I need you to come right now. Right now. So, no, check this out. I'm going to tell y'all something, right? When she went in the bathroom, she called one of her homeboys or whoever she called. Now, while I'm laying in the bed with my woody up, I did not realize that the door was cracked open. See, my mind was on something that it had no business on. You know, I, my mind was on fornication. So while she in the bathroom dropping her location and me stressed out all over the bed, unbeknownst to me, you got three big dudes coming up the stairs about to bust in the door. So they bust through the door. I'm like, oh, oh, now y'all got to understand. I got my shirt off. I'm in my boxers, no socks, no nothing. I'm laying there. They like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought you was about to get some. Where is that? Where is that? I'm like, oh, 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 what y'all doing, man? Oh, they like, man, be quiet, man. So she in the bathroom. I'm out here stretched all over the bed, spread eagle style. And you got these three dudes in here with the you know what pointed at me, talking about where is that? So I'm like, man, what, what y'all talking about? Where, where that? They like, man, stop playing, man. Where that? Where that? Where you wallet at? So in my head, I'm thinking like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out. I knew this was too good to be true. I know dang well this girl. I know she, I know it. She set me up. But here's the crazy thing, y'all. I didn't have no money. I ain't had nothing to get these dudes. So in my head, I'm thinking like, man. I hope these dudes don't pop me when they realize that I ain't got no money, man. So they like, yeah, yeah, where that? Where that? Where the money at? Where the money at? So one dude done got up on the bed with me, like, where that? Where that? I'm like, man, hold up. I ain't got nothing. He's like, man, what you mean you ain't got nothing, man? Where's that? I ain't playing with it. He racked it back. Like, I'm like, oh, man, this dude about to pop me over. Nothing. I probably got about eight, nine dollars and some change, some quarters, right? So I'm like, man, it's over there, it's right there, right there, pointing at my pants. So one of the dudes go over there and you got another cat going through the drawers and stuff. She's still in the bathroom. She ain't came out. So he going, he like, man, this dude ain't got no money. He got a couple of funky dollars, man. So he thought of, he like, man, where the money at, man? So I'm like, man, I ain't got no money, man. I'm broke, man. He like, man, dog, you got something. You got something, man. What you got? I'm like, man, I ain't got nothing, man. So he's like, man, get up. So remember, y'all, I ain't got nothing on but my boxers on. And that right there is still, you know, because of the honey pack. It kept it up and strong. So not only I got to cover up like this as I'm getting out of the bed, but you got dude up on my shoulder like this. No, they done flip the mattress and everything because they think that I got some money under the mattress or whatever, but it ain't nothing there. We're in the hotel. And I just thought that, you know, when this beautiful young lady approached me, we was just going to go to the room, have a good time. I didn't know it was going to end like this. This is why I tell y'all, stop being so goddamn dang horny all the time man because you might end up in a predicament like i was so they like man no man forget that forget that man we ain't come here for no seven dollars man we ain't come here for no change man you got something else man i'm like listen y'all i ain't got man man hold on give, give, give me your phone give me your phone i'm like listen I need my phone for work. I need my phone. They like, you got cash app. You got PayPal. You got something, man. Open it up. Open it up. So I open it up and they go to my cash app. So he like, man, what's the password? So I give him the password. He look, it's like $38. And then he like, bro, this all you got, man? Like this all you got? I'm like, listen, man, I don't know what y'all on. I don't know who put y'all on to me, but I ain't got it, man. They like, man, dog, you for man, you you ain't got nothing. You you ain't got no jewelry, no no nothing. I'm like, y'all, I ain't got nothing, man. So, 
They one of the cats go to the bathroom and go in the bathroom with the girl. And they in there for like 30 seconds. But I don't hear nothing. So I'm thinking like, yo, yeah, they're in there talking. He probably in there asked her like, man, you he put the money in the shoes and they done went through my shoes. They done went through everything in that hotel room. So dude come out, he like, man, come on, man, we gone, we gone. So then one of the guys holding the, you know, the thing on me as they bat, they're like, man, you better not do nothing. You better not call the police. You better not do nothing, bro. You better not do nothing. And they backed out and they left. So when they left, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I know this B set me up. I know she set me up. So I'm like, hey man, come on out the bathroom, man, they gone. So then she come out. Oh my God, oh my God, I got to go. I did not sign up for this, I have to go. What that dude say to you in the bathroom? He just said if you don't give him what he want, he gonna come back, he gonna kill both of us. I got to go, I gotta get up out of here. I'm not playing, I gotta go, let me out of here. No, no, let me tell you something, you ain't going nowhere. But, but I didn't do anything. Where your phone at? I don't know, it's somewhere around phone? the it's, it's, It gotta be in the bathroom still. Well, let's go to the bathroom and go get it. I, I don't have time for this. Nah, nah, man, back, you please. set me up. Please just you let set, me out no, I'm not, I ain't letting you out of nowhere. Now, let me tell y'all something, okay? I am going to let her out eventually, but because I don't want this turned into a kidnap charge, okay? But I'm not stupid. I seen the dude go in there. Matter of fact, what happened when he came in the bathroom? Y'all was in there for a whole minute. What happened? He was just threatening me. He was just saying, do what you got to do to get my money or I'm coming back to y'all. That's all. That's all do I know. Do what you got to do, huh? Yes. He he was. He must have followed us from the club. He had to follow us he, from the club. He had to follow Or from the gas station. I don't Why was the door unlocked? Because you didn't lock it. I didn't lock. I, that wasn't my fault so, that you didn't go. You should have checked the doors. All right, all right. You know what? You lucky. You lucky. How am I lucky? I'm I'm a victim like you is. I victim. Just need to get I, first of all, hold up, hold up. Dante ain't nobody victim. Okay, I just got caught slipping because I knew I knew it was something. I knew. I knew you had something to do with all this. All I saw was a fine brother at the club and that I just wanted to see what was up. That was all. That was, that was all. it. And you see, you, you thought you got you a lick. That's what you thought. I don't know nothing about thought, that. Yeah. I just thought you was fine and yeah. interesting. Yeah, That's okay. it. Yeah, okay. You know, I'm going to let you up out of here, but I'm going to tell you something. If I ever catch you again, I'm. you know what? Just go. Just go. You, you just just, just go. Where's my phone? I got to go. Let me tell you all something, right? So... In hindsight, it was my fault. It was my fault because I should have made sure that the door was locked and closed. But I was too busy thinking about and getting laid. For you cats out there that are always trying to go to the club, always trying to push up on a broad and trying to get one off, y'all take this video as caution. Because Dante got out of that real lucky. Dante could have easily caught a bullet and would not be here to tell y'all this story. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again.